All right, everybody, here we go again. We're back with another React video. This time we're doing Boston 2024. Glitch. Do the gl glitch. Glitch. <laughs> so dumb so uh as you know we're we're st we're on to this new segment of of on cycle the podcast show you might see us from our podcast Ooh, if you haven't go check us out over there mm -hmm. on on cycle a drum corps show and uh you know we're over here doing some react videos now so if you like what we have to say and you're enjoying the show uh you know go watch our other episodes and uh in the comments say thank you Say whatever yeah. you want. Tell us where you don't like us talking over top yeah. of you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let us know what other shows you might want to watch. That'd be fun too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we're going to review uh, Boston twenty twenty four, which is they came in second place. Review, uh, review, re re review. Up for review next. <laughs> we're we're reacting. Excuse me to yeah, yeah. Boston twenty twenty four. Um, uh, glitch, and it, they were in second place this year. Uh, well deserved yep. second place. Um, the first and only time they've ever been a second place by themselves. Yep. Yep. Because they were and tied. The, the first time they ever beat Blue Devils. Mm -hmm. in a very, a very well deserved win. Yeah. Such a cool uh, show. Such a neat, integrated show. Yeah. Uh, there's, I've said this many times before. Every time I watch this show, I find something different in the show oh, yeah. that I didn't notice the first time or second or even seventh time I watched it. So. Um, we're, we're watching the show, obviously Robbie and I watch it several times now, yeah, um, a lot. but, uh, we're going to watch it and we're going to, uh, you know, kind of point out some things and, you know, yeah. talk from our drum core experience and let you mm -hmm. guys know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, so anything else you want to say about the show before we get started? You have to cough real quick. <coughs> this guy. Excuse me. Jeez, oh man. We're recording <laughs> videos and he's coughing. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We can cut that, right. cut that, cut that, cut that. I'm not cutting it. All right. <laughs> All right, All right no, ready? Let's, let's get into okay, it. Okay, let's just get into it. All right, cool. Let's get, I love how they're all staying there so prim and proper. Yeah. These guys were at our home show this year. So oh, yeah. It was fun to watch it live, uh, very up close. I made sure to... Uh, I almost Kruka. missed like the getting back ready? on the field for Encore because I uh -oh. went to the top of the stands to watch this. Uh -oh. And I was like, nice. I'm not going to not see Boston in person. Yeah. I was like on the 30, like maybe six rows up in the stand. So I yeah. got a full blast in the face. It was awesome. It was I got to see everything from the top and it was mm -hmm. crazy clean. I've also maybe never done a, a harder 180 on uniforms. Mm -hmm. Those were the, two of the dumbest Please things ever. You were a big hater of these at the beginning of the season. I think I was just tired of bad Before uniforms in DCI. I, I, love I, was just right. I love when Steve Rodinero comes in and records stuff for people so that they can use it in the show. It's a great yeah, right. move. Thanks, Steve. You're the best. Also, that whole opening chorus thing was so cool. Yeah. Like the interlacing stuff, and then some people like, like, you know, get caught and like lag on a move and then yeah. match back in. Crazy design. Yeah. Also, only eight snares and five tenors. Very interesting setup to show. Oh. Not beating the sequel to 2015 Bluecoats allegations with this opening. I remember seeing this live and I was like, holy crap, this is so clean. Oh, crazy clean. Right. When you're looking directly down this diagonal, it muddies it a bit. But even still, you can still see yeah. the cleanliness in it. I was talking crazy music. clean. I was talking about music. Oh yeah, yeah. The brass I playing like, is insane. I was like, okay, I get it. There's the reason they played. They paid you the big bucks. Ooh. Just drill wise, so clean too. Yeah. So one of my main concerns was like uh, that the different brightly colored uniforms would muddy the forms a bit. I think they did early season, but I think they just got so clean that it stopped mattering. Yeah. By the end of the season. I love that. Oh yeah. I also love the the percussion and guard uniforms are clean. Yeah. They're so cool looking. The 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 rifle catch with you know an accent on the snares. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just brilliant writing. Classic. 
I love the uh, the thought of all the hula hoop blocks that they had during the summer. Does everyone have their hula hoops? <laughs> I Especially so if mad. anyone out there has ever done DCI, you know it's a whole lot of lugging around and crap with you for the whole season. Such a cool visual moment. So I hope I hope they had a dedicated carrier of hula hoops because I couldn't imagine being. They had like, big carts. Yeah, which I hope they just wheel between sets because I cannot imagine being like, all right, you know, a rehearsal field is. 0.8 miles away. Uh, grab your hula hoop and your horn and go. <laughs> Those are heavy too. They're like big metal hoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were very. Sense. They're gonna be solid. Though. Yeah, yeah. They're not I like your effect. They're not your little. I think the, the flexed wrist, great like hand definition there. Yeah. usually one for like gimmicky stuff but the the little wrapping turntable in here is yeah super cool i think this whole show i love the dissonance <laughs> right it just makes it like oh. i think boston has been trying to do the gimmicky thing for several years now mm -hmm. and most of the times the gimmicky parts are the worst parts of their show yeah but this year they finally figured out how to make the gimmicks cool and effective yeah also you have a baritone feature on the 20. And it still sounds good. Yeah. Same thing. 20 to 40 trumpets. What a spread. And like to, to do like a, a complex motif while casually grand plié. Like, I know. I Great remember, control. I remember when I had these. <laughs> Round plays are still fine for me. It's, it's lunges that will get me sometimes. It's, it's all it's all a lateral force. I love I love the guard if you if you go back out. I can't remember if they do or not. They just sprint through all of these. Oh yeah, there they are in the background. The whole time, but there they go. They're just sprinting. Yep. I mean Boston's guard is crazy fit. There they go. <laughs> Such a weird cardio block. It's such a weird thing to have in a show where there's, because it's like 35, 40 seconds of it. Right. Love this. I love this section. A little bit. Take five. Yeah. While well, the rest of the Warland takes five. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah. I remember hearing that live at the the show and being like, "This is so funny." <laughs> Such good percussion this year. Yeah. Ooh, the the, the forming of the it looks like gears. Yep. Oh, here it comes. Oh yeah. I love when a lead player is playing so loud it feels like the horn is going to explode at any point. What is three for that note? Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Must have been a little Yamaha sharp tuning. Or <laughs> <laughs> no. BAC now, right? Yeah. Here. Get it your own brand. Yeah. He got there. Yeah. <laughs> he missed on he missed on semis night, so we we're all watching finals like, come on you, come on, you can do it. <laughs> I do I do feel like I don't know if you noticed this, but it's probably just from playing three shows in a night. There were a lot of, of soloists this year and in previous years that like were nailing screamer parts all year, mm -hmm. super consistent the entire year until semis and finals nights. Because I think they got worn to the ground. Because maybe, maybe that's the case, or it's just you know, it's, it's maybe it's nerves. nerves. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit. I was, I was really happy at this section when they brought the colors of the core together oh, yeah. early Such enough a, in the show. Yeah, like they brought together for the ballad. This right? part, this, this part doesn't make any sense to me at all. Yeah, why does she go? <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't get such it. It's a weird, so weird. She's she has a beautiful tone. I said the flugel oh, is yeah. incredible. I love a good flugel soloist. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that baritone has been like a soloist in the core since 22. Oh, wow. I think he was the snake soloist oh. in 22, where he's like, blah, 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 the whole part. Oh, the black with all the colors. 
Again, you know, it, they always incorporate a popular piece of music, and this time it actually felt like it fit in the yeah, show. I agree. You know, it fit, and you're like, you weren't like, oh, it's that song. You're like, oh, it's that song. Yeah. You know, it's a much more pleasant response. Also, if no one has seen this show live, the recording does not do it justice. Yeah. The lights are unbelievably bright. Yeah, all the Like, almost too bright. Yeah. Where you're yeah. like... <laughs> but it creates such a cool effect. And the cameras just don't pick it up quite as much. To be contorting the upper body like that, with that control while playing yeah. at this volume and clarity, really good. I tell you what sucks is doing that in your two play. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Because you already need so much more lungs than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, and then you compress it, and, and then you you're just set, you, weights on the shoulder, and then you're like just, offsetting There's 30 it. pounds on your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. The homies all the way out there. I'm like, run! <laughs> I'm talking about sprinting during the show. This oh. dude. Yeah, this guy here. Also, the way he has to just casually hand it off. And then, and then guard yeah, number yeah, up. And spin with them. Dude's a beast. Absolute yeah. beast. And he's just standing there like nothing just happened. Yeah. Like he didn't just run 60 yards. Yeah. I mean, look, he had the most of the soul in the battle to rest up, but like, I'd be winded after that, even God, with dude. Dude, the rest. I mean, we've had parts of a show where it's like, run, you get to the, you just pop, like, yeah, the last three seasons, <laughs> or maybe it's just on 40. <laughs> no, it's been, especially in 22, when they literally said, can you sprint to where you're going? Like. I guess so. I guess, yeah. So half the season of 23 when the ballot and marched at 245. The little triumphant, like, arrival point. Love this. The Laird runs. Yeah, Mellows. There are times this year where Boston's had more like a crown horn line than crown did. Yeah, I agree with that. The writing was fantastic this year for the horn line. Oh, yeah. It's so good. I would love to watch the show. It's such a fun looking show. It's such a complex book. Yeah. Yeah, Mellows. I love the fact that everybody gets to just take a little bit of time. Yeah. Again, good drill writing, good pacing. Before you have to do this nightmare. So much of the shows are just good pacing, yeah. Gross. Such an awesome effect in person. Yeah. To just like and all then they, the. Then they reverse the whole thing. I love again. the people that just just spin, just spin and sprint that dude up in the front. <laughs> Program, man. Did I say 2025 program? The Boston Crusaders! Next year they're going to put the children in first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this drill is crazy. It's so intermixed. And it's just mixed up colors, mixed up colors. Just spring around each other. Treadmill. I love that. The circles. The chord progression goes in here too. So it's All the intensity. Oh! And then the guard. Just this giant ripple. So good. Oh. That show grew on me all season. I think, yeah, yeah, I would say it, the same. Uh, you know, I wasn't a hater of the uniforms like you were at the beginning of the year, and I wasn't a I wasn't a hater like you were at the beginning of the year of the uniforms. I was like, I was, sure I was, I was skeptical. I was skeptical, but I wasn't a hater. I was, I, like, was mm. I was, I think I was frustrated because I thought they were so close to being good. 
Because mm. I liked the design, but I thought the colors yeah, were it, dumb. It feels at first. very, very, very sleek. It feels very crown early it's, teens. It is a crown uniform. It yeah. looks way more like crown than crown does. It's, yeah, it, correct. Honestly, if you showed me this show with the brass book and the uniform, but without any of the announcements, I would have thought it was a crown show. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, in, and, a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it's just it, it does. It feels and, and not to take anything away from Boston what they're doing, but you know it it does. It's very sleek uniform. It's very form fitting and tight. It makes sense. The hats, everything about it. And, uh, you know, when I first saw the colors, I was like, do something good. That was my first thought was like, deliver I'm, on this. I'm okay with it because your design has been so good the last five, seven years. Right. Yeah. I want, if you're coming up with these wackadoo colors and, and <laughs> yeah. you're going to come out, that means you're going to do something good with them. Like I, I had Make the faith. colors matter. Don't just be a, a smattering. <clears throat> I had faith in it. I had, I, I, I had my doubts. I was like, there's no way they can design it to I be. I knew did. I didn't. And I'm not a, like a super, I'm not a super uh, Boston enthusiast. Uh, I have some shows that I absolutely love, but uh, uh, I loved last mm -hmm. year. I loved the white whale show last year. And I loved uh, last year 18. was great. I would I have loved it if the uniforms weren't bad. Um, I, I liked the uniforms last year. I, last year I know. I know. You're so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> So, High school band looking uniforms. Yeah, they were fine. They were fine. So anyway, uh, all that being said, if you agree with us, let yeah. us know in the comment. If you don't, absolutely let us know in the comments. That's oh, what yeah. YouTube bring, is for. Bring it on. It's destroying people who you don't agree with. So yeah. uh, let us know. Let us know what's going on. If you love Boston, throw it in there too. Obviously, it's a great show. Um, and yep. uh, in both the Robbie's and I predictions, if you watched our prediction episode podcast, uh, we both predict Bo uh, Boston to win next year. Yeah. So if you're a possible. Boston faithful, 2025 is the year, man. I think they're I think they're prime for it. I think mm -hmm. everybody's going to go there. I think their drum line was Once fantastic. Least, right. I would say yeah. next three years, if not next year. You if, know? if it's not next year, I don't think it'll happen for a while. Really? I think there yeah. was momentum. Not that it's not a momentum thing. I think they're so hot right now with the last couple of years that they, they can, they can only go up because if they don't go up, I don't think they'll sit in second place again. I think they have to win. Yeah. I think they have to win mm. or they're going to go down to third or fourth because I think Phantom's hot. And I think blue coats are and blue, blue devils are not going to come back and get third again. I hate saying that, but they're not going to come not, back. And get, they're they're just not going to. Yeah. They're going to come back and be in second or win. Yeah. So if blue, if, if Boston can't win next year, they're going to move down a little bit. And I think that's going to, it's going to slow a little bit of momentum, but it's also, they can only have so many good shows year after year after year. So, yeah, right. so you're going to draw members based off of great shows. This is a great show. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, I think they got, I think they got the staff and everybody else in the coordination to make it work. Everybody's coming back this year, as far as I can tell. And as far as I saw, yeah, so why wouldn't you? Yep. So uh, good. You know, if this is, uh, sure, watching, sure they're hungry. They're like, we yeah. had a show that beat the blue devils, yep. but we still didn't quite yeah. get that gold medal. Yeah. Maybe you know? if you're watching this a uh, year after, after we post it and you're still watching this crap at the end of it, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe we were right. Hey, if you know that, that means you should yeah. go watch more of our stuff because we absolutely know what we're talking about. So yeah, exactly yeah, cool. Right? Uh, and if we were wrong, we're only human. So. Yeah, right, yeah. So yeah, whatever. I got a lot of medals. Screw you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let uh, us know what other shows you want us to react to. Yeah. Uh, if you got some fan favorites or I don't know some ones that you hate, you want to see us tear them apart. Yeah, yeah we'll tear. Yeah, we'll do anything. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We're, we're honest, if nothing else. So that's true. Yeah. Wait till we do a Blue Devil show. You'll see. <laughs> uh, this will be that would be like a point counterpoint the whole time. Yep. <laughs> so, all right, that's it for us. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate yep. it. See everyone next time. Yep. Off cycle.